Alright guys, welcome back. Now, I figured that while we're in the process of learning the different HTML tags, why not simultaneously build a cool web page? So let's stick to the basics, since we are beginners after all, and create a web page on the TV show Friends. Now the very first thing we need to do is specify a title for our web page. And to specify a title, we make use of the title tag. The the, the the title tag always goes within the head tag. So open and close the title tag and within these two tags specify the title. So let's say friends by Jotmon. And this is going to be the title for our web page. So if we go ahead and save it, and here's what I want you to notice. Now see at the very top it says index.html and when you reload it, it changes to friends by Jotmon and this is the title of the web page. Now title is what is usually displayed in the search results so having an appropriate title is very very important. Now coming to our next tag, coming to our next tag. If you guys have read the newspapers or at least have had a look at it at some point of time then there are usually these headlines which are huge and bold and below that we have a paragraph describing the headline. So for our web page let's create a heading and a paragraph. Now a heading comes in six different sizes and it is usually specified using the following tags. Now let's remove this hello world and create our first heading tag. Now, heading tag has six different sizes as you see here and the first one is the h1 tag and this is the largest of them all so let us say friends or as the series specifies it f r i e n d s now the friends is going to appear something like this. So friends is big and it's bold. Now there are also five other sizes in which you can specify the heading and let me quickly type it out. Now h1 is the biggest of them all and then they go all the way till h6 and the size decreases as we move from 1 to 6. So just for comparison I have h1 to h6 and if you reload it, you can see that friends is the biggest of them all with h1 and h6 is the smallest of them all. Now it is very important to keep in mind that HTML headings have to be used for headings only. You do not use it to make some random text appear big or bold because search engines use these headings to index the structure and content of our web page. So anyway, let's create two new paragraphs below our heading. So let me, let's say, let's stick to h2 tag and remove the other tags. Now, let me create two new paragraphs. Let me type friends is an American TV show. And then another paragraph, the show revolves around six friends living in Manhattan. All right, now let's go ahead and save it and see how that appears in our web page. Hmm, there's something interesting. Now if you notice, even though we had left plenty of space between each of our paragraphs, HTML being white space insensitive is going to ignore it. So any amount of space that is between these that were that was there between these two paragraphs were deleted by HTML and then is going to display it in one single line. So what we need here is a paragraph tag. Now a paragraph tag is denoted by the P tag. So open a paragraph tag and then close the paragraph tag. Now similarly for our second paragraph, open the paragraph tag and then close 
the paragraph tag. Now let us save it. When we reload it, we have two separate paragraphs. So Friends is an American TV show is paragraph number one and then the show revolves around six friends living in Manhattan is paragraph number two. So just to quickly recap what we have learned so far, we use a title tag to specify a title for our web page and then we use a heading tag that has a range of sizes from h1 to h6 to specify a heading in a web page then we make use of a p tag or the paragraph tag to specify paragraphs within a web page so i hope you guys are enjoying what you're watching thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video